everybody, Millie here. I've been tinkering around on the Atom with QR codes. What QR codes are is a form of barcode that's in a square 2D pattern instead of a 1D like a barcode. It lets you encode data into the QR code that you could take a picture of with your phone and it will usually take you to a website. Why would I want to do that? Well, first off, proof of concept, I wanted to see if you could actually make QR codes with the Atom and Smart Basic without using any other code, just basic. And the other idea was you could use this concept if you wanted to keep track of high scores online of a game you wrote. When a person got a high score or a person finished the game, they could click a picture of the QR code on their phone and it would take them to a website and let the website know this person got this score in this game. Cute little idea. So what I did is I wanted to prove that QR codes were actually usable on the Atom. So I wrote a small basic program that I call show QR, which will let me display two different QR codes that are embedded inside of it. It doesn't create the QR codes yet. I'm still working on that code. But I, like I said, I wanted to make sure that you could actually look at the, cam at the t screen and see the code. So I made two QR codes. I went online to a website that makes the QR codes. I'll put a link in the description. And then I took the QR codes that were generated and I converted them over into a little ASCII text file that you could see. I'm gonna just list it here. Yeah. Maybe I should list all of it instead of just one line. So you converted it over. Blank spaces are white, X's are black. Wrote a little program to hold it up. It's got two codes in there, number one and number two. I'm going to show number one. What this would do is it goes into graphics mode, which is 40 columns by 40 rows, and it's drawn a pixel for every part of the code. If it was blank, it draws a white one. If it was an X, it draws a black one. I'm not going to tell you where this goes. I'm gonna leave this on the screen here. I'm going to go full screen for a few moments. Let you take out your phone, take a picture, see where it goes. Okay, that gave you a chance. If you had to pause it, you couldn't always go back a little bit and pause it. And I'm gonna show the second code. I'm not gonna explain how QR codes work, the design of them. There are tons of websites that do that. I may explain them later on when I actually have code that creates it from scratch. But for now, there's your second QR code. Take out your phone, snap a picture, see where it takes you. So there you go. Quick little nibble, smart basic making QR codes. Have a good day.